Okay, it's time for some yard work. I have my work clothes on, just not the right ones. So I've got to go change uh, right after this, after this video session. I need to go change and get my clothes on, but then um, I'm ready to do some yard work and uh, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Most of you are probably familiar with this machine here. This machine is a leaf blower. Oh, wait a minute, that's not a leaf blower. What is this thing? Oh, that's a, um, that is a, weed eater or a trimmer yeah, that's my that's my weed eater or my trimmer and then here's my gasoline container and then that is my little container of oil that I need to use to mix I have got to mix my oil with my gasoline because it's a two cycle engine it's a little bit different and it runs off both uh, uh, both of these two mix together at once so I need to make sure I mix the right amount correct amount so that I get um, the optimum performance out of out of my trimmer Let's take a look at the oil bottle. Now, on the oil bottle, it says 6.4 fluid ounces, and it also has a ratio written there, 50 to one, and it has precisely 50 to one mix. What does that mean? Well, if you don't know what that means, I'm gonna tell you. It means that you should probably hire a landscaper to take care of the work for you so that you don't even have to worry about it. You won't worry about messing the mixture up. You don't have to worry about buying the gas, the oil, the trimmer, and all the hard work that goes with it. So you won't have to worry about any of that. And uh, a lot of the, a lot of guys I know do a pretty good job at it, and they actually make pretty good money out of it too, uh, a lot more than I make. So I really need uh, these videos to start generating some money. So um, need some advertisers here to contact me. But anyway, um, so what we what we're looking at is this. Um, this ratio 50 to 1. This ratio means 50 ounces to every one ounce. That's 50 ounces of gasoline to every one ounce of oil. So I'm primarily going to have mostly gas with a little bit of oil mix in order to get the fuel ratio I need correct. Now um, what we're going to do is we're going to set that up into a fraction form. So I'm going to take this ratio, I'm going to set it up as a fraction. I'm going to put 50 over 1. That means I'm putting 50 ounces over 1 ounce. So I'm putting the, the gasoline ounces over the oil ounces. Now I want to set another ratio that's equal to it. The next ratio I'm going to put is going to be, have an X. That X represents how many ounces of gasoline I'm going to need over 6.4 ounces. The 6.4 ounces is how much oil I have in the little container. The only, the only number or amount I'm missing now is the amount of ounces of gasoline. So what I can do is I can cross multiply 50 times 6.4, take that product and divide it by my only other number one, and I end up with 320. So that tells me I need 320 ounces in fuel to mix with my 6.4 ounces of oil. Well, there might be a little hiccup here because we don't typically measure gasoline in units. When we buy gasoline, it's, it's in gallons, by the gallon. So um, now we need to convert the 320 ounces into gallons. If, we, if you know or can find, just Google it, I guess, um, but I already know that there are 128 ounces to one gallon. So I can take the amount of ounces, 320 I have, and divide it by 128, how much is in one gallon and I end up with 2.5. That gives me two and a half and that tells me I need to mix that 6.4 ounces of oil into two and a half gallons of gasoline. So I'm going to have to take this container here. The best thing that I can see to do would say take this to the uh, gas station, put two and a half gallons of fuel in it, and mix the oil in with it. Typically what I do is I pour the oil in first on the bottom and then I pour the gas in and it kind of mixes itself. Um, so they, it, it's kind of already blended mixed, but um, maybe still give it a little shake at the end. And that's it.